welcome back for fish tag coordinates four uh, historic smallmouth bass a historic largemouth bass historic white bass and historic butterfly bass are gonna be in this video guys we're gonna start out at Naharan River North Carolina uh, spawn in at great parking job we're gonna go after the smallmouth bass this one's pretty easy especially if you guys have seen the other videos I literally just went where I would go for unique bass with the same stuff. <laughs> I actually use a spinner bait for the unique bass as well. Right out to there. Twitch on your way back, guys. Um, uh, this this American spinner bait works pretty good for these. Uh, uh, you get your historic small mouth in, in not much time at all, and you might catch a unique small mouth in the meantime in a trophy large mouth. All right, so I went in order like I think a lot of bitch people did on the details part of the mission, and I went to San Quentin next, and that is largemouth bass, uh, historic largemouth bass, and you're going to spawn at the Pelican Hut. And when you come in here and spawn here, you're going to go over here, keep walking, and um, uh, use your frog popper for the mission. And you guys are going to throw right down here. Um, these guys can be frustrating. You get like two at a time. And then you won't get uh, any for a little bit. And if you need to, you can always throw back here. Down the same way right here, guys. Alright, so we are at Everglades, Florida. For the historic butterfly peacock bass. Um, and you're going to want to spawn into Infinity Tunnels. And they, these guys were super to get. As you can see, I mean, this is would be quote-unquote a bad day for them. And I caught them right away. Uh, I mean, right away. Um, so you're going to want to throw it right there. And then you can pull your line out, you know, throw that way. Then pull your thing out like this and twitch. I can show you real quick. But these guys aren't too hard to, definitely not too hard to get. You just throw it like that, and you're going to kind of want to run it across that front of the the mooly pads there as best as you can. And you just twitch, and oh, there's one right there. I mean, these guys are really not bad at all uh, to get. Oh, hey, guys, and for the last fish on fish tag coordinates four we are at st croix lake michigan and i would definitely not do this last um i would do uh Quatton lake louisiana last because that looks like where the chest is going to be but at any rate let's spawn into sandy cape for your uh historic white bass now these things aren't real picky guys you can actually catch them anywhere from you know, anywhere in this range that you can see when you get in the Sandy Cape, they're not that picky. I did find, however, when I was trying to do for the Independence Trail Open, and I was trying to use this guy, that it worked really well for them bass, uh, white bass, historic bass, right here and here. Um, and then make sure you use twitching as well. All right, for your last step of fish coordinates four... We need to be at Quanchkin Lake, which hopefully uh, you save till last. You're going to spawn at the Pelican Hut. And you are going to take the bottom part right here. And you're going to go out to here. If you look off to the left, you can actually see the boat already. Uh, make sure you have uh, something that can get out there pretty easy. Uh, a good, any, I think it's like 180 feet out there to this. Um, but yep, just hook it here. You should get it no problem. Just aim right at the boat. Don't aim short or long. Aim right at it like that. And hook it and you will get it pretty quickly. Um, so that'll end fish coordinates four, guys. So we're off to fish coordinates five. Have a good one.